Welcome back guys to another Bucky manga review. Today we're reviewing the pickle arc from Bucky. If you enjoy these Bucky reviews, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. And don't forget to join the Discord to talk more about Bucky's greatness. Now, I hope you enjoy. Uh, this arc, Pickles arc, takes place after the last one I reviewed, the pretty much prison battle side, which was mainly based around the fight between Bucky and Oliver. This is directly after that arc and it covers from chapter 79 to 185. So it much longer chapter than the previous few that we've gotten. The pretty much basis of the chapter is a scientist discover Pickle, a caveman from the prehistoric era. Pickle is taken to the pretty much arena where in Japan where he battles a lot of powerful opponents. That's the real basis of the story and that's the whole summary of it really. As a whole I enjoyed this arc more than the previous three that we've gotten ever since the Rattai tournament arc. I've enjoyed this one probably the most since then. The main aspect that I really enjoyed about this arc is the fighting or the dialogue. There's a lot of dialogue during this chapter going about to pickle and like different martial arts and skills a lot of side stuff that really went into it but the main pickle fighting stuff was definitely a major highlight and what had given this arc its greatness in my opinion as a whole there was like four major fights between pickle and another opponent and then two little side scuffles that weren't really really that much of a fight and that was pretty much it when it comes to major fights throughout the series i'll talk about each of them individually in a short time i'll talk about some other cool aspects i liked about the thing uh, with one of the world scientists being a pretty much copy of Albert Einstein which was cool the one talking about Pickle throughout most of the arc which was very interesting to see. Pickle having somewhat of a development throughout the arc was cool to see. It started off with him being like confused about the world that he has woken up to and is pretty much lost because he's from the age of like 190 million years ago and just being confused and that his only pretty much issue was getting food because during his time when he was alive or his first time when he was alive he only uh, would kill dinosaurs for food that people that would be on his level or a little bit weaker than him he would have to fight to the near brink of death to get food so with all these humans around they're not on his level so he feels like he can't feed on them he only feeds on the, the prestigious uh, dinosaur meat that's where he leads into the fights where people wanting to fight him from all around the world to you know prove themselves their strength because they see his strength with him having like insane brute force and this insane power that's far above anyone else they've seen in their life so wanting to fight him with the arc from my starting out with like about eight or so fighters that were seen throughout the series all meeting up at the same spot where Pickle's being held to see him to get a chance to fight like all of them getting there a different way which was a cool thing to see you know of course Chad Yujo being the chattest of Chads just walks through the front gate and you know threatens everyone and walks straight in or everyone else has to use various other techniques to sneak around and get in which was a pretty, pretty cool way to start the arc and I really enjoyed that and then during this moment where pretty much everyone's looking at Pickle this is where Yujo has the first bout or first little scuffle with Pickle where Yujo and Pickle just pretty much lock hands and you know uh, Yujo pretty much overpowers him and puts him down quite easily that's pretty much that little scuffle there in Aurea Fire but it's a little scuffle between Yujo and Pickle that's the only bout Yujo has with Pickle during this whole arc we don't really see much of Yujo which is a bit of a disappointment which we got to see more of our boy Yujo we do get to see him more at the end which I'll talk about uh, later on I eventually get the first major battle between uh, Pickle that battle was between Pickle and Retsudo Kaio the Kempo Master, our boy, he, you know, the fight started off good, trying to, you know, wrestle you, trying to overpower and defeat him with his immense martial arts. But as the fight develops, it doesn't really last very long. Pickle overpowers him and then starts eating Retsuda as he sees that Retsuda is a strong enough to be eaten by him. That's, you know, the criteria Pickle needs. If you're strong enough, he will allow you to be eaten by him. That's how, you know, Chadley Pickle was. So Retsuda ends up losing, gets like half of his shoulder eaten or and his leg eaten. Eden. so that's and people save him but he gets you know humiliated destroyed by pickle in that regard so that was the first major fight against pickle during this arc and it was probably the worst fight in my opinion i think you know kai he pretty much during the end of the fight he disregarded all his training and this tried to use brute force against him he got absolutely wrecked which was pretty not really enjoyable and i didn't really enjoy that fight the next uh fight or scuffle this was just a scuffle was between hanayama and uh, pickle it was really just a pushing match in the middle of the street where Hanayama was able to defeat Pickle but this wasn't a serious was this a playing around Pickle not serious whatsoever if Pickle went full rage mode serious I think he would have defeated uh, Hanayama during this moment which I'll talk about later again the next major fight which had a lot of build up to that was between Orochi Katsumi the son of Doppel Orochi or uh, pretty much uh, adopted son of him we learned his whole backstory everything going around him and how he's trying to rise up the you know karate's 
knowledge and how much prestigious it has. This is where uh, Retsudo Kuk uh, Kaio Kaku comes in and starts helping him in his training and eventually has his fight against Pickle where he goes and fights against Pickle. He has quite a bit of damage against Pickle. He does pretty well, much better than what Kaio uh, Retsudo did against Pickle which is pretty interesting to see. Using this you know, ultimate attack that does actually damage to Pickle. First time Pickle's really faced any damage but the backlash of this you know, attack is that his arms get destroyed and he uses it with his legs as well where his, each of his legs gets destroyed and it gets to the point where his bone pretty much is just only there, no skin, no muscles left, his bone completely defeated by Pickle as well but it was a better fight and we did get a lot of substance to that fight, more build of him trying to expand the, you know, way of the karate than like all his uh, mentors or mentees just watching in the crowd and they all bow as the fight uh, finishes and it's very cool to see with that. Another good thing to mention about this arc is the art, probably the best art we've seen thus far in the Bucky uh, story, which top tier art all the way around. There was a lot of dinosaurs uh, shown throughout this arc, such as, you know, Pickle going back to his like flashbacks or what he would have done in the past. And then Bucky doing more imagery training, fighting against dinosaurs to be ready to eventually fight against Pickle. So we got a lot of dinosaurs drawing that looked top tier greatness. So the art through this arc was greatness. Uh, the next uh, fight that happened during this arc against Pickle was our boy Jack. It wasn't really an official match. Jack just, you know, slammed his way in and started punching and fighting Pickle. The first fight, this is probably the best fight, in my opinion, the best fight we had in the arc. It was just the insanity of Jack against the insanity of Pickle. Jack trying to, you know, eat Pickle like Pickle has been doing for others. You know, just back and forth. Jack trying to prove that he's more of a beast than what Pickle is. The fight starts going crazy at each other, just slamming into each other, fighting like absolute ravaged beasts to each other. This insane that fight started off as. We have Jack trying to eat Pickle, which resulted in Jack's pretty much jaw getting pretty much eaten or ripped off pretty much. So that happened there. And then Pickle got more serious. Pickle has taken real damage and actually felt some type of fear during this fight against Jack, which led him to, you know, power up, get into somewhat full force when it comes to power, where he pretty much destroyed uh, Jack's face, just destroyed his jaw and his whole lower part of his face. It's like one little attack and Jack went flying into the thing. And then when Pickle went to pretty much eat uh, Jack after finishing the battle. He realized some, he had more fear of Jack than what he had previously and he didn't know why, so he ended up sitting down. And then when Jack was, you know, knocked out, before he was defeated, he put all his strength into a last attack, which was him pretty much putting his two middle fingers together and then slamming them together if someone was to approach him, which would end up, at stated that would have killed Pickle if Pickle pretty much walked up to Jack. It would have gone through his two ears and destroyed his brain and he would have died. But as we know, Pickle didn't progress and uh, challenge Jack. So this ended up in Jack slamming his two fingers together and smashing his hands as well. Apart from his face that was already smashed. And you'd think the fight would end there after all that insanity. But no, Jack's just too much of a chad. He wakes up in the hospital with like a big mouth thing on covering his destroyed face. And you know, he gets out of hospital and goes back to fight Pickle again. Starts fighting Pickle again. Pickle gets enraged, wonder why, how he's still here, why he's still here. Jack gets fucked up again, wakes up in hospital and goes to get up and fight again after his whole body is absolutely destroyed. And this is where Bucky has to step in, stop him, tells him you need to face defeat. You have lost. And this is where we get a pretty interesting panel where we see, you know, Jack just, you know, scream in, you know, pain or scream in, you know, the fact that he was defeated with his last, like, two remaining teeth spitting out everywhere. Cracked his jaw open again. That's already destroyed. Just, you know, Jack has been defeated and he has to face that he was defeated. And then the final fight against Pickle was Hanma Bucky versus Pickle. This fight is probably the second best that we got during this arc with I still think Jack being the best which is how insane and crazy Jack was and how crazy and insane Pickle was during the fight. So this fight it was more a balance, pretty equal during most of the fight with you know Bucky trying to get in, use all his skills, all, all his training, use all his image training. Done like image training of all these different Jurassic beasts that Pickle would have known you know in the past which led to Pickle believe that Bucky was all of them mixed into one this super beast going at each other. Fighting had them pretty much on the brink of death both taking immense damage. Pickle going pretty much 100% power, full rage mode as, you know, Bucky was making fun of him. Took his territory and everything around that. And then as the fight concluded, uh, Pickle was able to defeat Bucky and Bucky was knocked out and had been defeated. So Pickle was still undefeated during this time. And so that's very interesting to see. I'll talk now about some other little cool stuff we got during this arc. It, near the end of the arc, about chapter 180 around that range. So five chapters near the end of the arc. This was pretty much after the Bucky 
Bucky and pick a fight had concluded with Bucky. Losing we saw Yudro going to America to, you know, meet with the new president, Barack Obama, or I don't think he was called Barack Obama during this, but it's meant to be him. Very clear by the way he looked. Setting up to, you know, continue the relationship between America and Mr. Yudro Hanma, or Master Yudro Hanma that he calls him. Showing that the alliance between the whole of America is still continuing with Yudro, the ogre, the absolute monster. And we learn that uh, Bucky seems to have a demon uh, brain. We know how, you know, uh, Yudro has his demon back. And then when Bucky goes for a scan on his brain, the, you know, uh, surgeons or whatever they were, they were able to see that uh, Bucky has an abnormal brain that has the face of a demon of it, very similar to what uh, what's called uh, Yudra has on his back. So that's very interesting to see. It may lead into later stuff. And it may explain his training and his ability to imagine all these opponents to train when they aren't really there and how insane that really is. So that's very good to note. We got a lot of flashbacks to the earlier parts of Baki, which was very interesting and good to see, such as when Baki threw himself off a cliff to, you know, awaken more power within himself and some other back flashbacks of his training with Yujo killing his mother and all that such as we did in early arcs. We also had somewhat of a fight between Oliver and Yujo near the end of the arc to show that Yujo is still above Baki or still stronger than Baki when it comes to fighting showing that Baki still needs a little bit more of training. We still need to see Yujo fight against Pickle to see who really is the strongest creature on earth at this point. Hopefully get that in the late arc but I haven't read past the Pickle arc so I'll be reading that in the coming days to eventually get at my next arc review. But we got a little quick scuffle between Yujiro and Oliver where it seems that Yujiro is overwhelming and pretty much defeating Oliver so I'll safely assume that. And the arc pretty much ended with the world deciding what to do with Pickle. We had a vote between uh, whether to you know put him back in the original uh, rock where they found him or let him live to, with us in the present day. They had like 10 billion votes all together and the winner was uh, put Pickle back in where he came from in the rock or hole with that only winning by a thousand votes if like 10 billion people have voted as a whole. But before they could do this, our boy Pickle pretty much escaped the prison or hold he was in and he said he wanted to go or not said he implied or is going to this is what the chapter ended with he is going to go to tokyo so he wants to be involved in more fighting in tokyo that he really enjoys that that was more shown in the Bucky fight, showing that he's moved past his animal instincts just wanting to fight for food or just pretty much killing or battling for the love of food. That in the Bucky fight, it was more than food because prior to the Bucky fight, he had been given a pretty much dinosaur flesh to keep him alive as he was pretty much starving to death as he had no food. Pretty much they were able to find dinosaur meats in the same area where they found Pickle. So they had given that to Pickle so he could survive, meaning he didn't really need to fight to get food anymore. And that he was only fighting Bucky because he enjoyed fighting. And this is shown with the last chapter with him wanting to pretty much fight more. And this is his whole basis of the thing is wanting to fight. And Bucky has made Pickle turn into one of the other fighters at Tokyo. So we'll probably get to see him in later arc, which will be very hyped to see. So that's it for today's Pickle arc review. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe, join the Discord, leave a like, let me know your thoughts of the arc down in the comments. And that's it guys, peace.